Hi, my name is Christy Morrison, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make pavlova. We start by combining one and a half cups sugar and three quarter cup egg whites, that's six ounces, in the bowl of a stand mixer. Place the bowl over a saucepan filled with one inch of simmering water, making sure that the water doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl. Whisking gently, but constantly, heat the mixture until the sugar is dissolved and the mixture registers 160 degrees, five to eight minutes. Fit your stand mixer with the whisk attachment and whip the mixture on high speed until the meringue forms stiff peaks. It should be smooth and creamy and bright white with a sheen in about four minutes. Stop the mixer and scrape down the bowl with a spatula. Now we'll add one and a half teaspoons distilled white vinegar and one and a half teaspoons cornstarch. I'm also adding one teaspoon vanilla extract. Now whip on high speed until everything is combined, about 10 seconds. We're making individual pavlovas, so spoon a heaping half cup meringue into five evenly spaced piles on each sheet. Use the back of a spoon to spread each meringue pile to form a three and a half inch disc with a slight depression in the center. Bake the meringues until the exteriors are dry and crisp, about 50 minutes. We've baked the meringues, now they need to dry. Turn off the oven, prop the door open with a wooden spoon, and let the meringues cool in the oven for one and a half hours. Then remove them from the oven and let them cool completely before topping, about 15 minutes. While the meringues are drying and cooling, you can prep the topping. You can use any mango here. I'm using ataulfo or honey mangoes. Cut a thin slice from the end of the mango so that it sits flat on the counter. Rest the mango on the trimmed end and cut off the skin in thin strips, top to bottom. Now cut down along each side of the flat pit to remove the flesh. Trim around the pit to remove any remaining flesh. Now cut the flesh into half inch pieces. You'll need three cups. Combine the mango with five ounces of blueberries, two peeled, quartered, and sliced kiwi, and one tablespoon sugar in a large bowl. Set aside to macerate for 30 minutes. Before serving, whip two cups chilled heavy cream and two tablespoons sugar in the chilled bowl of a stand mixer fitted with the whisk attachment on low speed until small bubbles form, about 30 seconds. Increase the speed to medium and whip until the whisk leaves a trail, about 30 seconds. Then increase the speed to high and continue to whip until the cream is smooth, thick, and nearly doubled in volume, about 20 seconds longer for soft peaks. Now it's time to build the pavlova. Place each meringue on an individual serving plate. Spoon half a cup of whipped cream into the center of each meringue. Using a slotted spoon, spoon half a cup of topping on top of the whipped cream. Let the pavlova stand for at least five minutes or up to one hour. Serve, drizzling pavlovas with any juice from the bowl.